Go for it. So we are done. We just don't have any intros or anything. So that's cool. We don't need intros. Live on of our pants. Live on Facebook. You might have to share this over to choose where you want it to go. Choose in a group. Uh oh. Shit, it's not that many watching us right now. Because we're not um, gonna edit this shit. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope, <laughs> we're gonna go with it. Share on a so friend. I'll talk now. to you guys while Brian's figuring out his end of the technical side. Keith's not here. JR's not here. Dave is not here. We got no tech guys. We got us. <laughs> okay. Got looking guys. We're, we're, <laughs> we're gonna, yeah, you're only half of us. Um, we're going to share it on the professional triers. And then if you could get into there and share it on the think tank. Okay. Um, I can, I can do that. I got to share it while we're going live. And yeah, we got to wait for it. it got to we're and we're waiting. We're broadcast webinar. Preparing live stream. We probably should have done all this. <laughs> I guess we couldn't have. It's okay. We're learning. This is episode one. Episode one. New show. This is the pilot. It's supposed to be rough. Not now. Okay. We are hey, look at that. We're there. Are we live? We're live. We're doing it live? Your lips aren't moving yet, but yeah. That's the preview. <laughs> okay. You're still <laughs> Sorry, you done. Are we are we live? Are we ready? We're live on Professional okay. Charters okay. page. So go to okay. so that or I will. Like, we'll go either. Yeah. While I'm talking, I'll give the intro. You can do that. So welcome everybody that is watching us now, watching us later. It uh, doesn't matter. Not watching us at all. It's okay. It's okay. I am so freaking happy. So excited to be here. I haven't been on a podcast in so long. Oh my God. My Christmas schedule has been absolutely insane. The business has been great. Um, the, the business has been wonderful, but so time consuming. But you know what? Christmas is over. I got to do some teardowns, but you know what? We'll deal with that in January. So we have an idea. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm so happy to have Brian here with me. Um, and this is the pilot episode. Hi, Brian. This is the Hi. pilot episode of what we are right now calling the Professional Triers Darwin Awards <laughs> or Darwin finalists. I haven't really decided on a name yet, but it's something. I think maybe Darwin, the Darwin Awards. And uh, here's the, here's the deal. Here's what the show concept is. Uh, I am not your host of this. I'm simply your guide. I'm going to guide us through all the different people we're going to talk to. Some we're going to talk to frequently. Some you know here and there. We're going to talk to everybody. But the point of this is, I'm not your host. I'm just your guide through this experience. What we're going to do. So we're going to bring us all down a peg. We're going to talk to the elites of the elites, and we're going to bring them down to us normal average Joe levels. Because I tell you what, we've all done dumb stuff that we don't want anyone else to know about. Things that we tried that were epic failures, things that were absolutely <laughs> terrible. And you know what? I'm going to tell you about those. Can, 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 can I get interrupt? Can I interrupt? Yes, with, go. I, I'm I'm currently having an epic failure right now, because that's perfect. I don't know. I don't know if we're live. Well, we're recording. It, we are recording. So worst case, we'll post this later. It still says, and I don't see us on the professional charters page yet. So that's fine. We'll just record this. And we'll post it later. And, unless it's my epic. Oh wait a minute. Oh. At a title, I'm going to call it giving it a try. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. This is what this show is going to be about. It's going right. to be, uh, we're going to tell you stories of things that we've done that just totally, we totally effed up on. Oh, I see a live on Facebook icon. <laughs> I see a live on Facebook icon. There, there is a very special button that says go live that I missed. <laughs> you know what? That's why we're here, Brian. That is why we are 
here. It is so good. Okay. So I'm going to give a quick recap because now we're live. <laughs> now you're so, live. <laughs> here's what this show is. This is the Professional Triers Darwin Awards. And this show is going to be a new show concept. And I don't make you any promises on anything with this show. Um, first off, I'm not your host. I'm just a guide through this experience, all right? Uh, I'm just going to just kind of funnel us where we want to go. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to come on from time to time. Um, I'm not going to make you any promises on it's going to be certain weeks or certain days or monthly. It might be a bunch here and then we'll be off for a little bit because we're going to find some people. Uh, we're just going to jump in from time to time. We're going to make an episode. And we're going to entertain you with it. Here's what we're going to do with the Darwin Awards. We're going to bring the elite guys and we're going to bring them down a peg. Right? We're going to let them know they're, they're not so great. As well as we're going to make the average Joes realize you fit in great with all of us because I've done dumb shit and you're going to make fun of me for it. Cause I'm going to tell you all about <laughs> the dumb stuff I've done. Brian, I know you've done dumb stuff. And I, I am all over it. Fun of you for it. Um, I, I, I recently found out that there are some people in this hobby that are up on this pedestal. And here's the thing. They have done just as much dumb things that have been complete failures that all of us have done. And I want to know about those things and I want to tease them for it. What do you think, Brian? You ready for this? <laughs> as soon as I don't manage the think tank, so you manage it. So you got to share it onto the think tank because I cannot figure it out. I'm lucky I got us this far. I will. I, how about I share the video after we're done with it? Because I'm going to lose my train of thought. I'm not smart <laughs> enough to multitask. That's my idea about this. I can't multitask. I can't talk to you and go do that. Okay. Um, especially since I got to be on my laptop right now. Uh, so I'm going to tell you the story first. And you can... Uh, then you can share your story. You can make fun of me all you want. Please uh, let me have it. Okay. Uh, I once had this idea. Um, by the way, how's the weather there, Brian? Uh, you know, I don't know. It, I was just out there and it was foggy. Uh, actually, it fogged up my glasses. It's clear as a bill. It was foggy the other night. Uh, it's 24 degrees. So, I mean, I had my pajama pants on. So, <laughs> it's nice. Good weather. So, uh, okay, here's the story. Here's the story. So I had this idea uh, of how a better way to store my Biscorio strips with my pixels punched in them. Yeah. And the mega trees oh, built out of, right? Sorry about I've that. Got, what was that? What was that? <laughs> that, that was us. <laughs> I put, so, you, on the, put um, you on the big screen. <laughs> so I've got, uh, I've got six mega trees that use these strips. Um, all of them are 32 strands. Uh, three of them are 100 pixels tall, and three of them are 50 pixels tall. So I got a shit ton of these strips. So I had this idea to build this A-frame, right, with thin little, like, sticks hanging out the side of them, you know, kind of making, like, a rack. You know, if you think, think of, like, a lumber rack. And instead of it being lumber on those racks, I'd put all my strips on those racks. Then I could grab it with my the forks of my tractor, carry this thing around. Great. Awesome. <laughs> this was so terrible this didn't even make it out of my shop this is how terrible this went i started looking okay my strips are like 16 something feet long and uh so i built the this this frame like 14 feet or something right first off first problem my door is only 12 foot wide <laughs> You notice it's the first problem there. Now, I'm picking, I'm picking something a, up. <laughs> so that's not the first. So obviously already I built my stand two feet longer than the width of my door to get it out of the door. Now you think, okay, not a big deal. Just, you know, cantilever the thing or whatever. Yeah. Angle it and it right out the door. Not a big deal. Okay. Except after you put all the strips on this thing, this thing's heavy as hell. So the only way to pick it up is with the track. Well, I thought I would save a bunch of money by not building it out of two by fours. I built it out of two by twos. <laughs> it, was not, it was not strong enough. It was not even nearly oh, strong I can, enough. I can, I can hear the wood cracking already. <laughs> it was terrible. I mean, this thing weighs hundreds and hundreds of pounds with all of these pixels and strips on it. 
and it built it had two by twos and then i reinforced areas where i was going to pick it up with the two by fours and that was all terrible but then once you pick it up with the tractor uh it, it was obviously it was gonna immediately gonna just crash and fall apart yeah and it, you also were not able to grab it with the tractor and tilt it you know you can't angle that thing and uh so it was just an absolute monstrosity failure we took all the pixel strips down we threw them across the tractor hauled them out you know by hand basically i gave both the kids a drill gun and said guys take all these screws out basically throw this thing away this is an epic total waste of a day oh my god it was terrible it was terrible i i will look for pictures of it yeah that that was interesting. It's Wish we had a. <laughs> in my own defense, was I onto a good idea even in the beginning? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I get the feeling you want to say no. This idea was <laughs> shitty right off the bat. This is a terrible idea from the get go. I think the, is what you wanted to say. The concept, I think, was there. But the application had some failures. Uh oh. A, Is that you? You gotta oh, go. Yeah, Maggie's trying no, Maggie's trying to call me. She knows <laughs> that I'm on an episode right now. <laughs> you got your button with you? So you got uh, your well, no, I just I just declined the call. And now I'm gonna text her and see what she wants. But you go ahead with your story. Or or make fun of me for my story. Uh, oh no. It's you have any more thoughts on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was just that good, huh? <laughs> I, I, I want to say material. I think it could have been accomplished, but you know, something that long needs a little more support. I think if you would use angle iron, but then now you're looking at even more weight. To even just to build the frame out of, but mm -hmm. now you should see. <laughs> I, I want to take credit for this so badly because I'm going to start tearing down in like two weeks, and it's I'm going to share pictures of this. I think this is going to work so well; it is going to be ingenious. And I had I'm going to get all the credit for it. Other than the people that listen to this episode, because I will tell all of you right now, I didn't make this at all. I had <laughs> nothing to do with this. This was 100% my father. My father built this. It was completely his design even. But it's a, it's a pallet, a four by four pallet. Then he put eight foot walls on it. And then he put all these metal rods that stick out about 12 inches uh, that are angled. And there's like 32 of them across each wall. And those strips will just be able to hang on it. Right? Oh. So they'll be able to hang up. And then it's nice. tall enough that you can hang one end, you know, go to the ground, come back up and hang the other end. And yep. then the pegs are long enough. I can do multiple of them on each hook. There's enough hooks. I really wouldn't even need to do that. Um, and I will be able to put all six mega trees hanging, the strips hanging up uh, on one pallet and then just, pick them up with a pallet jack and move the whole pallet with the tractor uh, with the forks move the whole pallet at once. Holy cow. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Yeah. I will show pictures of it be... and for everyone else that that didn't hear this episode they're all going to give me credit. It's going to be great. You got 10 foot high doors or 12 foot high doors on your shop. What was the roll up door? I just want to make sure it's going to fit uh, in it. Like, like 10 foot. Okay. No, this is going in, uh, this is going in a semi trailer. The trailer. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yep. So no, that was taken into account. When I said it's like eight foot tall, it's actually like uh seven foot eight or something like that. No, I'll give you a little it's, room. Yep. It's been factored in with the pallet and the wall so that this thing will fit into the semi trailer and then slide all the way up. Very yep. cool. That has been taken into account. He's a much smarter man than me. Uh, <laughs> I should share this episode with him. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. 
Brownie points. Brownie points on him. So there you go. Okay, Brian, it's your turn. Mine was, and I got to go back to last year because this is when I learned it. Um, props have a way they have to go up onto the house for wiring. And I knew about the wiring diagram and start and finish and all that. But when you put it up on the house and you're running the bars effect to go right to left and all of my snowflakes were either going bottom to top or top to bottom or diagonal northeast and southwest. Yeah. So I had a lot of rotating and I didn't tell anybody that because I was pretty embarrassed about it. But I had what I have. I had eight 12 inch snowflakes that I had to turn. The only thing that worked correctly was the best star. <laughs> So when you put that has an obvious direction. <laughs> it has the right way to go. So now, uh, because I added 19 more snowflakes, as I did it, before I even got started, I made a little mark at the top of it on the inside of it as the wiring view from the backside and said top <laughs> on everything I did. So I knew. When I started with one, this is how it's supposed to go. If it's 87 pixel that's on the very top, then I know that's top. And then when I put it up, I look at the back of it, and I even didn't do it on uh, one of Gilbert's snowflakes, and it was canted. So, yeah, I had to fix that. And all my snowflakes have a, uh, well, especially the uh, Living Light Show from James from Biscoyo. I have PVC frames on all of them because I use the PVC uh, anchor brackets and I screw those into the garage and then I just take it and snap it inside that with the PVC. So all of them have PVC brackets. So when you get it off, you got to pull it down, cut 12 zip ties off of it, <laughs> turn it to where it's supposed to be and then re-zip tie it down. And hopefully the pixels line up where you're splitting the pixels. So, yeah, but that's my, that's, that's the, hopefully somebody's done that before. But then this year I tried to put a two inch, 24 foot long piece of pipe into a sleeve in the ground by myself and my tractor. That wasn't working out very well. Two inch, tw 24 inch long, you said? 24 foot long, two inch Square tubing. Oh, okay. So I had I have your design, and, the Titan system, and you're doing it, and you're doing it with a bum foot. A bum, yes, and a bum foot. I am What's trying security to security camera footage that we can watch of you trying to put this up. Oh my! Oh, it's probably been deleted, overwritten by now. Hopefully. <laughs> It is right at my driveway cam, my camera too. <laughs> oh God, I wish I could have seen that. that and, a, you know, and I, yeah. I'm so hard headed. Four hours, I did this before I finally, and even the pole even came off my straps once and smacked my headache rack on my tractor. I could have died. I should have said that a little quieter. Oh. Um, but yeah, it hit the headache rack, <laughs> fell on the ground. Oh, that okay. So that at that, that point, <laughs> at that point, I finally phoned a friend and said, "Dude, can I borrow you for like a half hour?" He came <laughs> over, and how I had the pole already situated, all I had to do was actually. And I told Jr. this. He's like, "You did what?" But I climbed up my ladder, got inside my bucket, and I held the tubing. As my neighbor pulled forward for the tubing to slide into the <laughs> into the sleeve in the yep. ground, <laughs> my all son this, came out. <laughs> all of this with the foot. All of this with a bad one foot. foot. With one foot. <laughs> my my son took a really nice video of it with his uh, with his phone. He came out. I was like, "Daddy, I'm gonna film you." <laughs> oh yeah! Don't show your mother. You play this at your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that was an entire beautiful afternoon one of the very few beautiful afternoons i had after i got back 
from San Jose that I wasted four hours on just to get a pipe vertical. <laughs> but that pipe is standing strong, isn't it? It is. I don't even have any guy wires on it. There's uh Help. 27 there's 27 inches of concrete holding that bad boy in yeah and here's the thing this is what i tell people with these trees and stuff think think of lamp posts right think of a lamp post those don't have guys wires on them those nope. will be like 30 feet in the air this big thing that just booms out the light booms out over the street or stop signs you know hanging from them they'll have a big 30 foot arm hanging out the side of them within the weight of that of the lamp of the stop lights yeah it, all comes down to the type of material you're working with. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what JR and I'm going to give, you know, well, actually you, I'm going to give first because it was your original design and then JR piggybacked off of that. And that's what I went with, with the sleeve in the ground. And it's, I mean, there ain't nothing. It's got a little bit of play, a little bit of wobble only because you're, you don't want to match up a perfect inside diameter and outside diameter. So there's a set. Yeah, there's a set bolt in it uh, to tighten it down. I've got to go out and tighten that up every once in a while because it's windy as crap up here. Um, so, and I've had 60 mile an hour winds. The most I had to do was take my water dip tank stick and straighten out my star a little bit. And that's it. And that's only because of a poor design on my part. <sighs> that's embarrassing. So, I'll give you but, this piece of it. Advice when you have that when you have that pulled in, um, uh, make sure make sure to grease it. Take a grease gun, mm. grease the shit out of it, the part that goes down in the sleeve, because and do that every year before you put that pole in the ground. It'll keep the rust from making those two pieces of metal stick together. Yep, uh, it'll help you tremendously. And um, the only because the wind blows and the dust that blows up with it, when I do that, I, got, I do have to put a bead of silicone. And I want to do that anyways because it keeps moisture out in the snow and whatever. But put a bead of silicone around it to seal the top of it so I don't get any extra moisture yeah. down in there. So, But, yeah, grease it, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I don't know so, if that uh, pole will come out, though. <laughs> it might you know, just. I didn't take mine out. I it might take just. Mine out, but that. Uh, that leads me, that leads me into the story. I had a different, I had a different like final story to tell you about. It was going to be about how terrible my snowflakes are. Uh, and the absolute utmost confusion. If you looked at my layout and you're like, which one's snowflake six? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one. It's one of those. <laughs> it's all, it's all modeled at the group level. It doesn't matter which one six is. I don't think, I don't know. Also, Snowflake 6, is it a 16-inch three-pronged fancy, or is it a 24-inch two-pronged? I'm like, I have no idea. I don't know. It's that one. So, <laughs> Snowflake uh, 06. Terrible. You know what? It looks good. It looks good right now. <laughs> That's not the story. We'll save that story for later, because it gets more elaborate than what I just told you. You're on Mega Tree. So I'll tell you this. So I sometimes have a tendency to over-engineer things. And I think I did really, really good on the Titan pole um, because it's a very simple design, which was the key. Now, I don't want to take too much uh, credit on that because um, when JR, you know, redesigned it into the rugged pole, he added features to it that uh, were, were so much beyond my skill level. Like he really took it to a whole nother level uh, to quote Great Christmas Light Fight episode one through every single one of them. <laughs> uh, took it to the next level. <laughs> no, JR really did. Um, and, uh, but it's the simplicity thing. Well, here's an example of when I was over engineering those poles. Um, I, I had my buddies over, and I have two buddies that are uh, my best friends that are both much bigger than me. They're big dudes. They're uh, big dudes. Well, one of them's kind of an engineer, he's very, very smart as well. And uh, so I got, but they're both, both very smart guys. So I have the two of them over and we're talking about this idea I have to be able to get those poles out of the ground because they're heavy. They're big, some bitch heavy, right? As you just now know, <laughs> yeah. uh, or you've known. Uh, and so to get, and they're three foot in the ground for my big ones. Uh, and I'm like, okay, I got this idea to make it easy to get them out of the ground. I'm going to make this thing, fabricate this thing, goes on my, the three-point uh, hitch of my tractor and grabs onto the pipe and then puts a peg through and then 
lifts it up and then there's a piece at the top that's going to grab on uh, and that'll balance it so it doesn't tilt or you know, lean or anything. <laughs> and you know, we're, we're engineering this or all this stuff. And the two of them are just like, well, well, how heavy is this? And the two of them just grab the pole and they just lift it up out of the ground. Just the two of them. <laughs> but just, they just both just like, well, let's see, how heavy is this thing anyway? And the two, like I said, they just grab it and pulls it right up out of the ground. Said it's over on the ground and lays it down. I'm like, son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? I have blueprinted this thing. I have engineered this thing. I have drawings of what I'm going to make. It's going to do this. I called you guys out here. I gave you beers first to entice you to come out here. That's why they lifted it out. All it freaking took was the two of you to just grab it and pull it up out of the ground. That was it. I just, again, wasted that day. So that's your plan B. Or your plan A, let's say your plan A. If they can't make it out, you got to get them out of the ground, let's say this year. Now you got plan B that you over engineered and hook a chain to. And I think it would have worked anyway. Every time I over engineer something, it doesn't work. It's kind of a simple one. Oh, it was terrible. I felt like such a jackass. I'm just like, do you know how much time I've wasted thinking about how this thing is going to work and how it's going to, it's going to make life so much easy, easier. Yeah. And then you can yeah. grab it and lift it out of the ground. Jesus. <laughs> God damn it. It's like, anyway, that's what, do you do? that's what I got. That's what I got. So this has been fun, Brian. It has. We want to see if anybody wants to, you want to invite anybody to the page or. Well, you know, I was texting. I guess we with, didn't talk uh, about that first. Invite anybody to the page. Go on. You, What do you think? Go on. Well, I, I killed the feed because it was taking up too much bandwidth. So I got to get back into it. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't have it up. I got to get back onto the professional charts page. I have a little button right there that still says we're live on Facebook. Well, yeah. I just lo- I had to get back into Facebook. I shut everything off. Oh, okay. Um, you know, I, we might be, I might be back on this later tonight. I might record another episode tonight. And if it goes that? live on Facebook and you, and you see it again, great. If you hear it in a week on, uh, you know, a Spotify or your Google podcast or your iTunes or whatever you listen to, I don't know. Um, but I tell you what, I tell you, because this is what might happen. What I'm trying to do is convince Tikva to come on and tell us stories of David Peace's failures. I know that she will have better stories of his failures than he will. So I'm excited for that. Stand by. I don't know if I've convinced her yet. Uh, but I will make you this promise. If I get Tikva on to tell us David's failures, I will also have Maggie on to make fun of me just as much as we're making fun of David. <laughs> It's not fair to only tease him. Got to give it at me too. So I will take my zip tie snack and uh, I will try to get this done. What do you think, Brian? It sounds like a plan. I was just um, catching up on the comments. Yes, I do live in Montana. That's how come it's windy. Um, Oh, comments on our Facebook feed? Yeah, you haven't been paying attention. Uh, I I pulled it down. I don't don't have it pulled up. (laughs) <laughs> I don't have it pulled up, so I don't know. Maybe that's that's a learning lesson. Maybe I need to have it pulled up so when well, people comment. I yeah. Ask a question. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll go through. Is there anything I need to answer? Well, somebody or just said Don. Guess? Don just said, "Oh, that's a can of worms, Vinny." I think he's talking about having Tikva and Maggie on. So. Oh yeah, that's probably a terrible. Idea. <laughs> that's okay. We've learned. I'm filled with terrible ideas. Opening, yeah, opening that up. Okay, I'm gonna expand this. How do I get Maggie to stop talking? So. She's she's ta- trying to talk to me through my Google Home thing back there, and I'm. You know what needs to happen? The internet never Maggie! forgets. <laughs> Don't you have a button for that now? I do now. I do now. <laughs> a, button, a button that is just it's like the easy button. You click the button, it goes, Maggie! <laughs> but uh, it's I in the house. I need to get that out here. <laughs> anyway.
All right, Brian, should we sign off? No. We, I guess we should, yeah. So. Okay. All right, hey, Chris, uh, well, so Chris so Barber, let me know where. Chris Barber, let me know where your daughter moved to. If it's Great Falls, I can send her over this way so she can see the light show. My little display. It's not as big as some people's, but have her. You have a fantastic display. Do not sell yourself short. It is fantastic. Oh, thank you. For not knowing if I was even going to have a show this year. <laughs> it didn't turn out too bad. Oh, and we need to talk about grouping at some time. Not the groupsters or the groupies. Grouping. Because I had about, I think Rob would say probably about 25, maybe 30 groups that he just went through and delete, 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 delete and rebuilt all my groups. So, for my props. Because I had way I too many. I can't tell you about this because R Richard does most of my sequencing because I believe that he is one of the most talented sequencers out there uh, and one of the nicest guys ever. I love working with him. So he does most of my sequencing. And I had to get after him about, Richard, you need to stop sending me different <laughs> show folders with different submodels and everything in there because I don't know how to import those things. You have to make this easy for me. Uh, so uh, yes, we'll we'll have we'll have a conversation about this. Yes, uh, because I'll try to know most of those words that you're going to end up using. I'm sure. <laughs> so, it's going to be great. Just keep the word small. All right, Max, five letters. Yeah. All right, sir. I will salute you. We have been at this for thirty minutes. I want to keep these to thirty minute <laughs> episodes, and we'll say good night. Awesome. Good night. Make it go away. Click the stop button. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> Make it go away. Right. I don't do this anymore. Bye, guys. There it is. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>